let's see. Uh, homework number 46 for Wednesday. Now, I, knew to, I know that today we had a test, but I want us to start doing decibels because we started that before the break. All right. Hopefully, I, it's Monday before uh, the holiday. So, okay. Super simple. I'm not even going to look at this one. All right. Uh, but I want you to do two of these just to kind of get, get used to doing decimals again. All right. This is much better. So, how do you compare decimals? Right now, all of these starts off with eight, so I'm just gonna use eight as an example. Then. All right, I'm gonna write it here. So, if you start off eight, the first thing you compare is the ones place, right? And then you look at the tens place, and then you look at the hundreds place, right? And then you order them. So, okay, let's see. I'm gonna start off with at least to greatest. I mean, technically, you could do greatest to least, except you know, you put the greatest numbers on the right side, right? Doesn't matter. Uh, I, I would think that's actually maybe easier for us. So let's see. Now, it's hard it's hard to see the numbers lined up horizontally like this. So I'm just going to put the numbers, all these numbers in order. Not in order, but in the order that they appear, going left to right, and just put them down here so it's easier to see. And I'm going to cross them out as I put them in their uh, proper place. Okay. All right, so let's see. Um, okay, first number. Now, please, so I'm just going to go with the largest, actually. So let's see, 8.18 or 8.16, right? So all these have ones in it, so they're going to be bigger than the zeros. So these four numbers are going to be, right, first two and the last two are going to be to the right of these two numbers. So now I want to look at these two numbers. So look at 8. Yeah. It's this one, 8.18 is the largest. So let me go here. I'm only going to do one of these, okay, because I can imagine these taking some time for me to just to explain. Doing them shouldn't be hard, but explaining them takes a while. Okay, now that means 8.16 is the next one, right? Because there's no number in the, what, hundredth space that's larger than 6 other than 8. So it's 8.16 is already there. Okay, so I'm going to cross those two out. No, did it? Did it just get erased? That's annoying. Okay, all right. And yet, when I want to erase it, to erase automatically, it doesn't do that. All right, so these two are done. So I'm going to just rewrite, all right? So if I were you, I write this in your notebook when you're doing the work. How about that? All right. Okay, that's annoying. Okay, so let's see. Now, what, what now? So, okay, so these two are both ones, right? So these are all at the same ones place, and then the tens place actually, right? Both have one in it, but this one's longer. So this one's next. So it's 8.108, all right, it's already in place, and then 8.1, like that. All right, so let's go back to the pen. Oh, now it's not erased, nice. Okay, so, I, now, so I'm left with this to compare. 8.00, zero, zero, so that's a 2, so this one is, oh, that's a 3. Oh, that's a 3. Okay, so that means it's this one. So these are all in order already, down here. All right, and then I'm going to submit the answer like this, and that's it. Okay, and it shows you how to do it. That's in case you get it wrong. It's really nice. It shows you exactly how to compare them. So that's good. Uh, so I'm going to sign off here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, bye now. OMG, that was so good.